Hello, everyone, and thanks for watching Beyond the Stage. Today, I'm here with Aaron Kelly. Aaron, what are some of your earliest memories of music? I always had an interest in music, even at a very early age. I actually used to sing with the television when I was 18 months before I could even talk, and I would sing on key, and that's kind of where my parents saw, noticed my talent. And by the time I was three years old, I actually did my first public performance, which was a national anthem. And from there, that kind of gave me the encouragement to continue with my singing on later on in life. When did you decide you wanted to pursue music? I ultimately made the decision at the age of 16. I'd been playing guitar for about six months, and that's when I was able to do my first acoustic performance. And learning guitar was a bit of a challenge for me, but after I really got into it, it opened up a bunch of new possibilities for me and made me realize that this music career is something that I would want to pursue. Is it hard as a young artist balancing music in everyday life? Balancing my life can be a little difficult at times because I'm actually working part-time right now, going to college and trying to pursue the music, so it doesn't give me a lot of time for a social life. <laughs> but I'm really hoping that'll pay off in the future. Where do you draw your inspiration from? Oftentimes, my inspiration comes from real life experiences and sometimes from observations. And I often tend to write my melodies first rather than write the lyrics first. And I end up writing the lyrics to fit the melody rather than the other way around. Who have been some of your biggest musical influences? I'd say the artist that has one of the biggest influences on me would be Linda Ronstadt. She had such a powerful voice and she could sing just about any genre of music, which just amazed me. I also would say Carrie Underwood is a big influence on me, as well as Patsy Cline and Leanne Rimes. If you could perform for any one of them, who would you choose? I would definitely say if there was any artist that I would be able to perform with, I would love to perform with Linda Ronstadt just because she has been such a big influence on me since childhood. Can you tell us about your EP? My EP, Why Wait, is composed of five songs. I recorded four of those songs in Nashville with Rich Herring of the Little River Band. And I also recorded one song locally with a guy named Nike Van Wyk out of the Lehigh Valley. Are you currently working on any new projects? I've actually been getting back into the songwriting process. And I've also been performing recently to promote my latest release, but hopefully I'll have some stuff out in the future. Is this something you enjoy doing outside music? Back in the day, my mom was actually a professional athlete. So of course I played every sport imaginable as a kid. And now usually when I'm not singing, I'm either working out or playing racquetball. What is the best place for fans to stay up to date with everything you have going on? You can find me on Twitter and Facebook at Aaron Kelly Songs. Instagram at Aaron Kelly Music and any additional information or contact information you can find me on my website which is www.aaronkellymusic.com. Aaron, did you have any final thoughts before we go? Feel free to check out my music video on my YouTube channel for my single Never Gonna Be which is a song that is off of my EP.